distance is it difficult to find the distance between two points on a plane? No, even in three dimensions, it doesn't matter because we think about x, y, z, x, y is a plane, y, z is a plane, and you pick two points, it goes back to the regular formula that we use. Yes, for distance. It's not a big deal. But what if you have a point So Q is not going to be on the plane, and V is on the plane. Good. So we have a point, one that is on the plane, and one that is not on the plane. My awful looking play. Um, we'll pick a point. Uh, let's see. I'll pick a point right there. Call it P. Good. What do I need if I want to find the distance between this point? And a point Q, it could be anywhere. I can put Q there, I could put Q here, there, there, doesn't matter. Do you agree? Yes. So I'll pick here. Good. What do I need in order to find the distance? But the distance formula. Sure, sort of the distance formula, but we're dealing with the plane. To create a right angle triangle, I've got a point for belly. And um, what do I need? Right angle triangle has 90 degrees and another angle. We got that part right. Okay, how do I form a perfect 90 degree angle with this plane? Create a new point at x1, y1, z0. There. You mean you're referring to it here? Oh, you can do the opposite and project p down to q. Either way, right? But I'm looking for another word. I want to draw something as a right angle. Draw the axis. Drop the axis? Draw. Okay, word game. Starts with the letter N, ends with the letter L. Normal. Normal vector. So we know I can drop that normal vector anywhere I want on uh, or from the plane. Unless it ends up being a case that I show, well, just like a piecewise function, you've got to split it up in multiple sections, find normal vectors in each section. Here, not that hard, if I pick a point there, yes, and draw, call that the normal vector. Good. Now this angle will be 90 degrees, even though this is for artistry. 
uh, 90 degrees. Good. So we want to know the distance between the point and, excuse me, point on the plane and somewhere Q. We know the normal vector. And how do we find um, projection? So we know from the definition of dog product long, excuse me, projection long, long time ago, if we have something like that, and that is B, that is the angle theta, that over there is the projection of B onto A. Yes, if I took its magnitude, I will get the component that is a scale. scalar. And if I found the vector, it would simply be um, the vector component. Um, so we know how to find this. And we derive this to be the magnitude of B times the angle that is formed. Yes, no, maybe. Yes. So, No. Um, and by the definition of dot product, we know a dot b is equal to the magnitude of a, magnitude of b times cosine theta. Yes, we want to find that. We divide by that, and we end up getting cosine. Oops. Yes, we want to extend that idea over here. Now the question is, there is the angle between the two vectors. Yes, um, there is a vector here. There is a vector there, so the angle formed will be right here. Agree? If that is theta, what is that? Ninety minus theta. Oh. If I want to find the distance, I already have one of the vectors, which is n, the normal vector. I have the other vector, which is simply the point, um, x, y, z, one of those. So I can rewrite this as n dot b divided by magnitude of n. So we have the normal vector and b n, but what is b, the vector b? In our case over here, B would be this, you're projecting onto the normal vector, correct? And we have x naught, x1, y naught, y1, z naught, z1. So the vector B here will be x1 minus x naught, y1 minus y naught. Z1 minus Z0. In other words, this is the same as QP vector. Yes. If we were simply looking at the origin and some point, vector notation is easy. 
we are just referring to x1, y1, z1, x0, y0, z0. But here we are looking at two different points. They have nothing to do with the origin. They are somewhere in space, but we also know it is the same if you move it around properties or vectors. We have the, now we've got to know what N is. How do we find N? What do we need in order to find N? I can't hear you, okay, plane. We need the equation of the plane in order to find a normal vector. Going back to last class, a couple of ways to find the um, equation of a plane. Either we know points on the plane or we know it's a normal vector, correct? If we don't know the normal vector, we need the equation. If we had the equation, we can find the normal vector. So let's just assume we have the equation. What is the equation of a plane? Uh, Ax. Oh, Ax plus Py plus Cz equals D. We just got Good. If we have A, B, C, then we can easily find the normal vector. So the normal vector would simply be A, B, uh, Okay, so distance. The magnitude. Scalar components of B onto N. N is the normal vector. We know what B is. B is simply x one minus x naught, y one minus y naught, z one minus z naught. Um, plug that in. We will have a b c times. X1 minus X0, Y1 minus Y0, Z1 minus Z0, divided by square root A squared plus B squared plus C squared. Clearly, A, B, C cannot be zero. You don't have a plane if they are zero. We've been over this before. Now, could one of them be zero? Yes. 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 In which case, you are uh, going to represent either the x, y, y, z, um, z, x, plane. One way to find the distance, another way. Oh, I can do this. We can multiply A times X one minus X naught, B times Y one minus Y naught, C times Z one minus Z naught, divided by square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Yes. Well, if I split or distribute a, b, c, I can write this as a x1 minus a 
x naught b y one minus b y naught y naught. No one got it. I got it. Okay. I said because early. Huh? Oh, While well, you were writing it earlier, I said because. Uh, oh, I see. So c z one minus c z zero divided by No. Since the point x naught y naught z naught lies on the plane, I can rewrite that equation of the plane. How? Since I know that the point p x naught y naught z naught lies on the plane, I can rewrite the equation of the plane from earlier. I would just remember what it's deep. Just plug it in, you know, x naught, y naught, z naught. I don't need this anymore. Going back to that, I can rewrite this as ax1, b1, c. That one minus correct. They have a minus in common. I can do that. Yes, and divided by square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Since the point P, which is x naught, y naught, z naught, lies on the plane, ax plus by, plus cz equals d, plug in, it will satisfy a x naught plus b y naught plus c z naught equals d. Do you agree? If a point lies on a plane, then it has to satisfy the equation of the plane. Just like if a point lies on a line, it must satisfy the equation of the line. By all means, a line is a 1D plane by right? producing dimensions. Since this is true, so plus D equals zero. AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equals zero. And you can take that, plug it in there, minus D times minus, you will have plus D. I'm writing it in standard form. Of course, you can change um, or move D to the other side and write it as negative D. I don't like negativity, which is why I kept it in that form and plugged it, plugged in um, AX naught, B1 naught, C, Z naught, S minus D, minus times minus D plus D. Good. Um, I'm going to call distance as low case case, but you are not call it. Minus D minus D. Thank you. You may say why. Well, based on what I learned or how I learned years ago, it was uppercase A B C D. Distance is always lowercase 
D. You can go back and look at any textbook. Um, or 95% of the textbook. What is the difference between this formula and that formula? They are the same, but in terms of computation, let me put it that way. I assume you're given the equation of the plane. Mm -hmm. if you have a D. If in this form, you just if you know a point on the plane. But so I need to know how you see the equation of the plane mm -hmm. needs to be there. In terms of evaluating, it's simple. There's a D. There is a D, true, getting closer. Huh? Well, this could be the unit vector. Why would it give a vector? I did a dot product, right? Over here, if you observe, there is x1, y1, z1, and x0, y0, z1. Correct. I didn't even need information about the point on the plane, x0, y0, z0. All I needed to know is the equation of the plane, and I plug in x1, y1, z1, call it a Good. That is the difference between the two. It doesn't matter how you do it, but I think this is easy. Given a point, plug in the point in um, that expression, you're done. Do anyone anyway. hear those bells that just went off? Come again? Did anyone hear those bells that just went off? Yes. yes. Yeah. You do that on the hour. Yeah. Or does that happen to every time? Oh, no, it's strange. It happened this time. Oh, okay. I was like, they have never even heard bells on the hour. It is. Uh, the bell, that's weird because it's too loud. Yeah. Um, you, the bell tower is way down there by Cone Union. So I don't know where this is coming from. And we've never heard it before. And well, you like, just kept teaching like it was normal. And I was like, have I just never heard it before? So I started freaking out a little bit. I mean, I heard it today because I don't think it has happened before. Has it? No. Yes. Yes. It has. Because I get too immersed in this. Yeah, I mean, I can't tell you it's beautiful, but I exclude everything else. Um, okay, so here is a question. Find the distance between the point. On the plane three X minus two Y plus four Z minus two. You know the normal vector of that is. It is in the equation of the plane. We derive the formula. All you have to do is plug it in the formula and you get the distance. This is normal for system. But we can find the normal vector and go through the entire process of finding the distance. I will do the, I will write the normal vector just for, you know, Purposes of practice three minus two four in vector form three i vector minus two j vector plus four k vector. And all I need is that d a x one so three times three minus two times one plus four times two minus two divided by. 
Why is it a minus two? Because of the negative two. In the negative two. D. Minus, minus, you got it. D is minus two, right? Okay. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was from what you said, like if it was equal to D, then it was just D, so it would be equal to two. I don't know, I'm just confused. No, I'm just I just moved it to the standard version. Okay. So I wrote the equation of the plane as A plus B1 plus C Z plus D equals zero. Mm -hmm. um, so if you got a negative here, you just have to put an absolute value correct because distance can't be negative um, but then that will be a trivial case you're at the origin two steps this way two steps that way yes yeah. oh i'm sorry if you're at the origin this one is what the formula um but in one dimension you don't have a plane origin two steps this way two steps that way uh, but in terms of distance, it is still two. Um, square root of a three plus minus two squared plus four squared. Good. And that is an equation nine minus two plus a minus two. Divide by square root of nine plus two plus sixteen. Seventeen minus four, which is thirteen, over square root of twenty nine. 